I always knew I wanted to go to an Ivy League school. I can't really remember why I wanted that, but I always knew in high school that I was being challenged to an extent, but not, not in the way I wanted to be. I wanted something bigger. And so all summer, I mean, just so, so pumped to, to come to college. And then I got here and it was way different than I expected it to be. It was really, really difficult to adjust to living in the city and feeling like I had jumped straight from high school to grad school. And it came as a shock for me because I was always the one in high school that couldn't wait to go to college. And then I got here and wanted nothing other than to be somewhere else. Um, and so I felt kind of trapped here and like, I've questioned God a lot as to why he was putting me in a place where I was so uncomfortable and so not me. Uh, those moments where you're getting on Facebook to pass the time and you see your friends tailgating and you see your friends all hanging out together and I'm sitting here and probably 85% of the time just in tears. I was just not comfortable in the physical sense, not comfortable emotionally um, and intellectually feeling like I was just 100% out of the game. Um, at the end of the first week, I actually made a call to set up a transfer application. I was done. After one week, it was absolutely feeling like you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. I came into contact with Columbia Faith in Action um, by complete chance. I ended up meeting with a girl named Una Park and they invited me to the first freshman dinner. I went and it was really scary walking over to the low steps at Columbia by myself. And that was when Lori Black came up and said, oh, hi, I'm, I'm Lori, I'm Jim's wife. And then she said, how are you doing? and I just broke down. Um, all the way to the restaurant, I was just in tears. You know, I don't like it here, I miss my family. I thought it was gonna be different. It doesn't feel like college. It, it feels like I've just been thrown into this, you know, stressful dog-eat-dog -dog world where no one really cares about you, but about their success. And I was just an emotional roller coaster. There was something calming about being in that Columbia Faith in Action environment where I knew that these people were not gonna be the ones coming up to you saying, oh, how much work do you have? Oh, well, I only got five hours of sleep. You know, these were the people that were like, you know, I'm just like, I'm just happy you're here. You know, I'm just happy to, to meet you. And so to get that was sort of a sense of home in a way. And it was just an immediate connection. You could just see like the love outpouring from these students and they just wanted to see you be comfortable and they wanted to see you for you. And it wasn't until a couple months into the year that I went to a service and we looked at how in moments of trial, in moments where you just feel utterly lost, um, don't try to change it for yourself. Let God take care of it. I can't even put it into words how influential just hearing that was. And I remember the subway ride back from church thinking, you know, I'm maybe I shouldn't try to transfer right away. Maybe, maybe God's not done yet. Um, I don't think I would be as close to Christ as I am if it hadn't been for Columbia Faith in Action. I completely relied on them in the first few months, which in turn led me to rely more on Christ. And seeing the beauty of that love that they have for Him made me want to love Him that way. And I'm so grateful now that I went through all of the stuff that I did because it brought me closer to Him. Um, and it was just incredible to see that happen in my life.